Hey, what's up, guys? Haha. <laughs> Frankie Slauson here for another great video here at Frankie Slauson Show. And uh, as promised, uh, well, <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this uh, this uh, DVD update here is uh, this is going to be like in separate parts, obviously, because, you know, the time limit thing or whatever. And because, you know, I try to do, I want to do like a two hour or or even an over two hour long video of a DVD update, but you know, for some reason it just won't let me do that. So, I have to do it. I'm going to do it in, in, in some multi-parts, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is doing an update. Uh, kind of, I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. Because the last time I actually did a DVD update, it's been a long time. But the last time I did one was way back in August. Probably the August of last year while I was doing the daily summer vlogs and whatnot. So, it's been a while. And so I apologize for all the all you guys who uh, want to know, you know, because as soon as I found out that I could do uh, videotaping over here, uh, it was kind of a big thing. But I want to, uh, you know, everybody asks about uh, DVDs or whatever, like, hey, you gonna do a DVD update and all that? It's like, well, I could, I could, you know, eventually. And I was originally gonna do it last month, but then uh, finding out that, well. You know, I want to get, grab a few extra DVDs if I could, anyway, of stuff I'd like to update, anyway. But uh, before I get to that, uh, th I'm going to do this in parts, but this is the only uh, part that I'm going to put up for this week. Because uh, after March 25th, you guys will know exactly what surprise I'm talking about. Now, sadly enough, uh, uh, well, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be making a video of, of where I'm going and not what I'm going to be doing. But uh, I, I uh, will have pictures after everything's all done. Because uh, they won't let me uh, bring in the video camera where I'm going to be going. So they, they said you can only do pictures, camera pictures, still pictures or whatever. So, But uh, in here, ladies and gentlemen, this is where all the good things happen. The secret envelope. Uh, this, something inside here is special. Something that I've always wanted to do, and, and a few of you guys are actually close to uh, figure out what it is that I'm going to be doing here on Friday, this Friday night, in Grand Forks, North Dakota, at 7:30. Oh, it's gonna be fun! I, I really want to tell you guys. I really want to, you know, do it, but I, I, I don't want to spoil anything because this is uh, this is something that I've been waiting for for a long time, and finally the cat's gonna come out of the bag as soon as the next video that I make. I'm going to try to get it up there by Saturday uh, because uh, I'll be in Grand Forks for quite a, you know, for most of the day anyway. I am going to go see the Diary of a Wimpy Kid uh, Part 2 before I uh, go to where I'm going to be going. So it's going to be a fun filled day of exciting stuff and uh, oh yeah, this <laughs> it will be fun. So it's all in here. All in here. The secret. The code right here, you know, the answer. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, the other thing that I was going to talk about before I do this DVD update real quick is uh, I am actually going to be moving again. And I know you're probably saying, well, you did you just move to this house or whatever, you know, six months ago? Yes, I did. My contract comes to an end here on April 1st. So I'm moving because I am actually moving to a, an apartment complex. Now, yes, it's, it, it, it's, you know, a house is better than an apartment, obviously. But uh, the thing about it is, like, I, I'm doing this because where I'm moving to, it, they include everything. I only have to pay $400 a month, and it includes my rent, my utilities, my heat, uh, cable, and internet, all included in that. And plus they furnish a queen-size bed and a, de a table for a TV table, eating table, uh, computer table, whatever. Uh, there's a uh, mini, uh, mini fridge, and whatnot, and microwave, a bathroom, and everything. It's a hotel complex, pretty much. I'm yes, I'm living. I'm gonna be moving to a motel. Uh, but they have the motel actually has apartments that are that they use for people who want to stay there for a longer period of time. And there's no contract. It's month to month, and I'm very happy I get to do this because uh, as much as I love living where I'm living. I, I really want to kind of just live 
on my own, but not really by myself, but, you know, just, I don't know. I, I think this is a better idea. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm foolish, but I don't think I am. I think I'm actually making the right decision. But what, I'll show you the location. It's, it's going to be in a two weeks, the week of WrestleMania. Uh, so in between these vlogs here and the DVD updates and the surprise, the other surprise that will happen this weekend, this coming weekend, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on for me. That's for sure. So anyway, without further ado, -do, uh, now it's time for me to show you some of the DVDs anyway. And I'm going to try not to repeat them in other parts, but for right now, I'm just going to show, like, show you kind of, kind of what I got and what I've watched. And, uh, and maybe these are some ideas that you guys would like to add to your collection if you don't have it already. So the first thing I'm going to show is The Adventures of Mon Pa Kettle. And this is volume one of the uh, Mon Pa Kettle collection. Something that I grew up on a long time ago when uh, when they used to when they released the the series on, on video. And I don't remember how we got the videos. I think it was either from the library or it was from the my, my mom used to work for Am or Amazon. She used to work for Avon back in the day, and uh, they used to have like little videos here or whatever. That's where we. If I first ever watched the movie Clifford that Sean Phillips and MJ Kelly always refer to, that was courtesy of Avon and all that. So anyway, Mon Pa Kettle. This is the first volume. It's a uh, one disc, uh, four movies, uh, four or four shorts, as you say. But uh, who doesn't love Mon Pa Kettle? Sometimes, you know, and, and for some reason, I've just been on this little black and white phase for a short period of time and. And I've been just kind of watching a lot of older older films or whatever. In fact, I got one movie that should be here pretty soon. Uh, my last order that I made for while I'm living here anyway. It should be coming here pretty soon. And uh, it's in black and white. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, this is a good series that I want. I just recently just watched them all this week already. So there are, I've already watched them. I'm going to get volume two either next month or the month after. Just to kind of add to the collection, but it's 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 a good story about you know like you know poor farmers who who strike it good, wanting a house, uh, going to New York, going out, living on a farm, and just I don't know just crazy adventures that they have as far as uh, 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 the series goes, and it's not in color, although they got color photos on the back, but I do like the. Uh, you know, it was only thirteen dollars at Walmart. I do actually like the uh, the cover, you know, the work, because I always say, you know, if it has a good package, then it's it, it's something good. That's for sure. So, Mod Pod Kettle, The Adventures of Mod Pod Kettle, Volume One. Second thing that I'm going to show you guys that I just recently watched that I purchased last week. Uh, something I wasn't going to purchase, but you know, I I eventually will own the Who's Line as an Anywhere series eventually. And that'll be something that I want to get before summertime. And these two guys made that show kind of famous uh, because it's all about improv. And improv is just it's better than, than stuff that's scripted. If, if you remember the movie Caddyshack, most of all that stuff was all improv. You know, a lot of the stuff that they did on there was not on the original script. If you don't believe me, check out the uh, documentary that they had used in the updated version of Caddyshack. Yeah. But these two guys, Colin Mockery and Brad Sherwood, in a thing called Two Man Group, Live and Dangerous Comedy. Now, these guys are hilarious. You know, I at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it when I watched it, but you know what? They're actually pretty damn funny uh, for two guys who love comedy and to to get the audience uh, participation. Too bad there aren't more more improv like comedians out there because this this was very funny. I really, really enjoyed this. This next one, uh, I kind of got made fun of for watching this one because it's something that I've never watched before until now. But I got it because uh, the, the, the real life uh, husband and wife who were in uh, Webster uh, were in uh, this movie before Webster ever came out. And that's Alex Karras who played the sheriff and uh, Susan Clark who played uh, Cherry Forever. Uh, the hooker, anyway. And what am I talking about? Porkies. Porkies, yes. The the one-size-fits-all edition. The, the all-new DVD that'll make you squeal. <laughs> I was going to say a Ned Beatty joke. To, 
there just now, but no, I won't. Uh, anyway, no, this this movie, you know, a lot of people, you know, don't want to remember this movie because it's so dirty and everything like that. But you know what? There weren't really that many dirty parts. I mean, you didn't really see much. I mean, really, it was more just, you know, your average teen comedy, sex teen comedy that, uh, you know, explored all realms of the world, I guess. Mostly, these guys are trying to get uh, into Porky's, the, the club, and he won't allow them to, to have any fun because they're underage. And he doesn't want to lose his license if, you know, that's underage people, you know, uh, coming to his bar or whatever, his strip bar. But, other than that, I mean, it wasn't really that bad. Uh, I eventually will probably get the Porky's The Ultimate Collection because that featured Part 2 and Part 3 just because I have this one. And I think the Ultimate Collection already includes this one, so I'll just give this away to somebody, whatever I do. But, uh, no, it, it, was, it was good. You know, I, I liked it. And, you know, some people can say they're never going to watch this because it's all about sex. Well, some parts it is, but it's not really all about sex. There is, believe it or not, there is a story or a nice little plot to describe this, this film. So, you just got to watch it to figure out what that is. The next one, I this one is one of the ones I got from uh, Brendan uh, Mitchell here back on uh, Valentine's Day, which I thought was pretty cool of him to do. Something that I was originally going to buy eventually, but now I don't have to because he gave it to me. Grown Ups. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like Grown Ups? You, you guys need to see this film because it's a, not a bad film. You get actors who, you know, it doesn't really make a difference what the story is all about what the plot is about but you get all these actors who have done so much for the entertainment uh, field and whatnot and you put them all together in, in, in a movie and you know it's going to be great no matter what I mean if you got a bunch of rookies who have never acted before and you don't know how they're going to be then that's that's almost like a gamble a little bit you know you're almost gambling trying to figure out if it's going to be good or not but you got all these guys you know Chris Rock Am Sandler uh, Kevin James, Rob Schneider, David Spade, I mean, uh, and the guy who uh, did, did the voice for uh, uh, Slinky the Dog, uh, took over for Jim Varney, Blake Edward, or uh, Blake Clark. Uh, yeah, I mean, a guy from Home Improvement, Hardware Hank, you know, or Hardware Hank, Hank the Hank, or what do they call it? Not Hardware Hank, but uh, Harry, Harry's Hardware, or whatever. Yeah, that's what it was, from Home Improvement. I mean, it's just a great movie. I mean, granted, I got this for free from a, from a wet movie, but it doesn't matter if you buy it on Blu-ray or DVD. You're going to get the same amount of laughs, if not more, uh, just watch this movie. So, I definitely recommend Grown Ups. You notice I don't really tell a whole lot of plots, because in my DVD updates, I try I want to try to be a little different. If I'm going to do this, take this seriously and, and have a little fun with it, I want to do it my own way. A lot of people describe... Uh, what the plot is, but I don't do that in a lot. I just talk about what I think or whatever. So, if if you don't like, you know what I'm doing, then don't watch. But most of you people, most of you guys who who've been watching me for a long time would appreciate appreciate this, no matter what I just talk about. I'm sure. Okay, the next one, Midnight Madness, a movie that I definitely can say that is well, all these I recommend because they're you know I try not to buy. That's one thing about me is like, I in the past I've made so many damn mistakes, you know, when it comes to shopping. I used to almost be just like Sean Phillips and Brendan because, uh, Brendan Mitchell because uh, I used to buy everything. I didn't care what it was about. I didn't care if I was wasting my money or whatever. I used to buy everything. My my collection. If I would never got rid of half the stuff that I ever owned, I probably would have close to two thousand movies right now in my collection. If I if I wouldn't have done that. But, granted, I finally got to, to the point where, you know what, I don't need to see everything. I, I want to see a lot. I want to own a lot. But I don't have to own everything. Okay? I am a film lover, and I always will be, but I don't need to see everything. You know, I don't want to see all the shitty films. I want to see the good. I, I want to see the best. You know? You know, for as, as little as I can spend. <laughs> but... You know, whatever. Midnight Madness, you know. Another great film with an all-star cast. Uh, with people like Stephen First, who was in Animal House as Flounder. Or my favorite movie that he was in, The Dream Team. 
uh, from uh, Universal. And Michael J. Fox, of course, you know, his debut film. Uh, and then the guy, Edward, let's see, what is the guy's name? Eddie, Eddie Deason or Weasel or whatever? Eddie Deason. The guy who does a lot of the nerdy voices, you know, for like, you know, nerdy commercials or whatever. I think he was in Dexter's Laboratory too, as uh, Dexter's uh, opponent or whatever, or Emerson, Nemesis or whatever. The other people I don't really know, you know, who they are, but you know what? Most of the films from the 70s or late 80s or early 80s were kind of around that same theme. They kind of dressed the same and they kind of, but that was, you know, that was back in the day. I mean, people, you know, granted, I didn't come around until 1983, but even then, you know, things were so much better than how they are now. You don't have to worry about gas prices. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just have fun, you know. I wish people could be like that now. Some people still are, and I try to be. But it's just hard, tough sometimes when gas prices keep going up and, you know, I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, the next one that we'll show you guys is the one that I had uh, on my Facebook page is me taking a little still shot of it. Nothing But Trouble. I mean, who doesn't know anything about Nothing But Trouble? You know? Very good film. Uh, simple plot. You know, they're, they're uh, bankers or, or they're just trying to or their stockholders or whatever that are trying to go to Atlantic City, you know, just to, you know, to stop something from happening anyway. Stop something, stop someone from owning something anyway. And then all of a sudden, they don't stop at a stop sign. They take a wrong turn. They go to this town called Valkenvania, and the rest is history. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it too much because you guys who call yourself true uh, Chevy Chase fans or Dan Aykroyd fans, or John Candy fans, or even Debbie Morick fans, you need to see this movie, you know. This is classic. This is art. I'm surprised it's not on Blu-ray, and I'm surprised that it's, you know, I'm surprised they haven't done any, you know, extra special features out here, you know, is what I'm surprised. Okay. I'm only going to do a couple more here because I don't want to do too much right now. just want to probably... I'm going to do two more, and that'll be it for this part. And then I'll do whatever I didn't do in another part next week or whatever. Next one, before we get to the last one for this part. A Christmas movie, but I, I bought this back in November when I first moved here to this house. And it's called The Polar Express. And I did not watch it until, what, February? I know, it's like, geez, Frankie, why, you know, you should watch the movies you buy. Well, you know what? When you have a collection like I do, it's hard to keep track sometimes. A lot of times, like I said, I used to just buy movies just to buy movies, and half the time I would never watch them. You know, I know that's silly, but it's a waste of money, but you know what? Eventually, I get to try to get to everything that I that I haven't watched yet, and this is one of those films that I finally got a chance to watch. I was going to watch during the holidays, but I just had too much crap going on during that time. So... Very good movie. The animation, of course, is excellent. Tom Hanks did a good job in playing just about every role in this film. Uh, I know it's out on Blu-ray, and it's out on Blu-ray 3D, so that'd be kind of cool to see what this would look like. But I'm, I'm happy with the DVD version. I mean, you know, there this one, is there ain't no features, really. You know, but there was a ton of previews and all that. And, yeah, it was just 10 bucks at Walmart for a holiday movie. And I saved the best for last on this part here. And something that I that came out in DVD on January from Mill Creek Entertainment. Brendan's showing you, Sean's showing you, but now I'm showing you. It's Hey Vern, it's Ernest, a complete series. And I've always loved Jim Varney. I'm always, you know, to me I think he's very underrated. He doesn't get enough credit for, you know, what he, what he accomplished. Yeah, maybe his personal life was different. You know, a drinker, smoker, whatever, horny, horny guy, whatever. But besides all that, when he got into character, Jim Varney was, you know, no matter what role he played, he was very good. You know, he, he made the film great, you know. And, and, and this TV show, I wish, would have lasted a lot longer, at least a couple of seasons. But, no, well, just one season. Hey, Varner's Ernest. I remember seeing this on CBS. And, uh, yeah, it, it was like, it's like $5, you know. Which is kind of weird because you figure, you know, it's just brand new, Mill Creek Productions. You figure they'd want to charge more for that, but no. I got it for $5 at freaking Amazon.com. I think that's the same place uh, 
Sean got it for. The packaging is a little different though. I'll show you what these what it looks like in here if you haven't seen it. It's two DVDs, but it comes like this. You know, they're in like a little special wrap here or whatever. That is a little different, but then again, you know, it ain't so bad. Maybe it's maybe it's a lot of other DVDs that come out this way. But I think that's probably why it was five dollars. Because that's the thing about Mill Creek Entertainment. They come out with a lot of good stuff. Oh, hell yeah. They, they definitely do. But even when they come out with good stuff, sometimes they don't put a lot of production value. Although this is a nice case and whatnot. But, yeah. So, anyway. There you go, guys. Part of my first part of my Ultimate DVD update. It's going to be, you know, and, and this is the thing, too. Uh, like a lot of people when they film their DVD updates or whatever or where they do like a two-part or a three-part they, they film it all in one day now the, this is gonna be filmed in, in different days because I, I got so much stuff going on this next couple weeks I, I gotta find time to do to, to come out with every part so I'm filming it on you know, the day that I film it then I will put it up so you might see a different shirt or something or a different hairdo or whatever each week but I'm, I want to make this last so this may last the next month because I promised this was going to be big. So hope you guys stay tuned and hopefully you guys will uh, keep subscribing. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So the next video that you see, folks, the next video that you see, the surprise. So I hope you guys tune in for that. Just trust me, this is huge. I've been talk, you know, I've been talking about it for over a month now. You know, if if it wasn't huge, you know, I wouldn't be messing about it. So. I hope you guys uh, look forward to that and uh, keep on guessing if you want because the next video will be the surprise will be finally revealed. Bye bye.